Hello, this is F.E. Zaldord12345, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time, we got a lot, of, a lot of evidence that'll help prove Alice is innocent, so let's present it. Yep, let's do it. You actually don't need to get all the evidence say, that I did. You actually only need one piece, and you can move on, but... The more you have, the better it'll be. What do you mean, your evidence? What? Well... Yep. Fine, we'll do it. Yeah, this is why you want to get as much as possible. If you choose the Queen's box, Something bad will happen. Actually, what does Alice have to say right now? I guess that's... Yep, that's it. Uh, you two? Nothing too special. Okay. I don't think there's really any pattern to it, it's just completely random. But since I have four pieces of evidence, we have an 80% chance of getting the right one, so let's see. Okay, we got it. What a compelling argument, Sora. You are the law? Yeah. But this whole world is crazy, so not much you can argue there. Okay. Okay, we have a little bit of a mini-boss here. Basically, we gotta destroy this tower. So for now, I'm gonna have Donald and Goofy go against it. And I'm going to target the Queen. If I can target her... There we go. If you hit her, then it, those cars are gonna be confused, and they're not gonna go quite after us for a bit. Well, at least not all of them will. I think I actually want to use fire here, but first I want to heal. Now as you can see, Don and Goofy's portraits are, portraits are highlighting. That happens every time I press triangle. What it means is that, well, they're going to attack whatever I'm targeting. So that way you have some control over them. If you're not targeting anyone, then they'll stop attacking and head towards you. And this is not going well. Yeah, Donald's already dead, and Goofy's pretty close. I think I want to get some distance and use fire. I probably should have only casted once. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, it's dropping a lot of money now. And we did it. They did quite a bit of damage. You alright, Alice? Crap. We should get going too. Wow, we got the crap kicked out of us. Fortunately, dead party members gain experience, so that's good. Well, that's taken care of, so... Back to the Lotus Forest. This is going to get pretty mazy, and I may get lost, even with my notes. Hello. All right. It does matter. Okay, what he's saying there is actually a little important. Basically what he means when he says everything is uh, scattered. Basically it means say that all the rooms we've been to, they're not going to appear the same. So yeah, there's more to explore now. Starting with this new enemy, a large body. 
this enemy might be a bit annoying to the first time first timers. And that's mainly due to the fact that it has a lot of HP, and unless you're using magic, you can't damage it from the front. And if you didn't quite catch it, this is how Blizzard works. You just fire a bunch of flakes like that. It's pretty useful, and I think it's actually stronger than fire at this point. I could be remembering wrong, but I think a fire grows to be stronger than Blizzard, but that's not for a while. Anyway, we want to get big again. And now we push this chest to the side. I mean, this rock to the side. I am way used to calling things chests. That is not a good habit. Anyway, now I want to push this branch to the side. And let's eat this to get small again. And now we have a new path open. And yep, an entire line of red nocturnes appear just for us. And as you noticed, we get tech points for hitting them with Blizzard. Which I believe I said last time, but yeah, now we get to see it in action. Huh. Two stun impacts in a row. Awesome. I didn't hit all of them at once. Oh well. Okay, where to head first? I think I want to go this way. Uh, there we go. Might as well get the quick path out of the way first. Alright. Uh, no I don't need to pick up all these MP orbs. Because when we activate Trinity number 5, we get a lot. Along with the camping set. And okay, I believe this uh, flower actually gives us something good. So let's take out a high potion. My only high potion. That's not good. Yeah, it wants a high potion. We give it. And we get a mega potion. Alright. Although I want single targeting potions for now. I do wish that items in this game did more than just heal your HP and MP. Yeah, that's all items are going to do in the game. A shame. And here's our next set of Dalmatians. I believe that's our second chest so far. I should probably heal up our HP and MP. There we go. Oh, these guys. These things are awesome. They are white mushrooms. Basically, this is where we're going to be farming in the game. The way these guys work is, as you see, they do certain gestures. Like there, you want to cast fire on it. Basically, it may, it's supposed to signify that shivering, so you want to cast fire. And that we can't do anything about. And let's cast fire again. And the way it works is uh, that, well, you cast three spells on them. And it, whatever the last spell was, it will drop a shard depending on what the spell was. Since it, I cast it with fire, well, I finished it with fire, it dropped a blaze shard. However, if you cast the same spell three times in a row, then we get something a little different. Come on. Yeah, that's the bad thing about these guys. White mushrooms don't usually use the spells you want. As far as I'm aware, it's completely luck based, but wow. We don't have that spell yet, and he wants it five times in a. six times! Wow. There we go. Yeah, I'll take fire. Okay, a second fire. That's good, keep it up. And... nothing. No. Get used to this happening to you. I'm probably going to be... I'm going to be dealing with these guys off-screen oftenly. So yeah, I'm going to have to put up with that a lot. And what we just got there was something called Fire Arts. We'll be using it later, but... Just get it now. That's all I'll say. 
it's important for an item later on. And we got that by casting fire three times in a row. So let's see what we get when we cast blizzard three times in a row. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. These guys don't st don't stay around forever. Come on. Yeah, sometimes they just don't do anything. I don't get them. Come on. That's not what I wanted you to use. No. Thank you. Also, don't attack them physically. If you do that, they'll leave. Oh, and I also got a Frost Gem. Yeah, whenever you cast the same spell three times in a row, you're guaranteed to get an Arts, but you also have a chance of getting a Frost Gem. Speaking of that chance of getting a gem, that is one change between this game and Final Mix that I am not okay with. They decrease the chance of getting a Frost Gem from them. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I think it's only 10%, and in the original it used to be 40%. Yeah, it's a real pain. Anyway, let's go through here. Despite how frustrating uh, the white mushrooms can be, I still love them. They make farming in this game so much easier. It's also for that reason why I made uh, white mushrooms my avatar. They're just that awesome. Okay, that was simple enough. Alright, now what we want to do is light these torches. That opens up a path to a portrait, and as for this... We get a chest. And it holds a defense up, our first stat boosting item. I'm going to be giving these to Sora. As you'd expect, they're permanent stat boosting items. I don't really care enough about Donald and Goofy to give them any. Okay, now I can't remember what exactly we're supposed to do with this teddy bear. I know we're supposed to do something, but I can't quite remember. Can I do it from here? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I'll come back to it later if I figure out what to do. I really should have written that in my notes. And okay, where to go from here? Yeah, this is gonna get a little mazy. Well, it's been mazy. Ah, that is satisfying. You can probably see why I love using magic. Oh, we got a large body to deal with. And Donald's already dead. Whoa. Yeah, I should be fine with physical combos for a bit. Okay, it's pissed off. So let's put it on ice. Get up. I said get up. Up, Donald. There we go. Usually they wake up from that as soon as the battle ends, but it can take a while. I'm not sure how exactly it works, and... Where in the Lotus Forest does this take us? Hmm. Oh, we're... here. Okay, so... We can't get back in there, so... I have to go over there. Yeah, we have to climb all the way back up here. I'm not gonna bother fighting these guys again. I don't want to fight the same enemies too many times. Otherwise, I'll get too high-leveled. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, it's been a while. You just had to slice that latch. Alright. Okay, that's gonna make things much easier for me. Okay, now I believe we want to go here? Yup. That's a satisfying kill. And I thought there were other enemies, but nope. And I don't want to go back to the Lotus Forest. We're fine where we are. 
Man, that water effect is kind of loud. That's a weird thing about these ports. I know I said it before, but for some reason the Kingdom Hearts games, at least on PS2, are really loud. I've been turning the audio down quite a bit, and I didn't have to do this for Legend of Dragoon. Actually, I think I want to save. I already screwed up this recording with not knowing what to do with the teddy bear, so I don't want to do that again. Anyway, I want to go back in this room. And we have to kill all these guys. As much of a pain it is, we really don't have much of a choice. Do we? Is that it? I'm not going to bother going for those. Oh, okay, that's not it. Dang it, I can only get one of them. Uh, camera? It really sucks not having magic against these guys. Well, at least he missed. Come on. Or Goofy could hit him. Oh boy. This is really tedious. Okay, don't spawn any more enemies from that side. And I was hit. Come on, heal. Oh boy. I am going to have to deflect now, aren't I? Or they could kill it. That was a lot more tedious than it should have been. And now we can drink this. Yeah, we couldn't drink it if there were enemies. And there are a lot of enemies. Okay, now to move this teddy bear. And now we move this clock. And we open up a secret passage. Yeah, we had to fight those enemies again just to get to that passage. A little tedious if you ask me. Okay, let's go. And no enemies spawned there. Good. And here we are in the tea party garden. You can actually go here from a, a path that was originally blocked by that boulder earlier, which I'll show in a bit. But here we get Dark Matter. Yeah, we had to go a little bit out of our way, but that is a really good synthesizing item. Unfortunately, we won't be using it in a bit, and I don't think we can get those chests right now. Oh well. Okay, I think I want to sit in here. But first, let's read this. Aww. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the Mad Hatter. A shame. And we get money from there. Each of these chairs gives something different. But let's collect some of the money here. I don't want to miss anything. I think I should be good for this chair. Yup, MP. I could definitely use, actually. Yup. Uh... Donald, you pick that up. Except he doesn't really know how. Oh well. Let's sit in here right now. Oh, a cake! Except it's a cake of death! And no, I'm not gonna say the cake is a lie. That's just way too overdone. But now the chairs are gone, so we gotta reset it. Okay, everything's back. And no, you cannot sit in the same chair more than once at a time. Eh, I'll take what we get. And we get some pretty nifty items. Well, they're items that we're already getting, but still helpful. And oh, an elixir. Nice. Those are always good. And as for this... Eh, don't really need HP. Well, Goofy does, actually. Uh, pick it up. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard for our allies to pick up HP or MP orbs. Okay, is that it? Okay, this is the only chair left. As for what we get... More cake! In the form of a large body. Please die. Okay, what I just did there is really interesting. Okay, how should I show this off? Okay, you notice how there was a bit of lag when I was uh, using Blizzard in a row like that? Yeah, basically those spells have cooldown, but... The thing about jumping is that when you land, you barely have any lag at all. So if you blend the two together, you get this. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. It's not too great, but it's really useful in speedruns. And for doing a certain trick later in the game. Uh, okay. Oh, we have more enemies. I should not have wasted Blizzard. Uh, get us done. Impact. And I guess stun impact when I don't need it. Of course. And you're dead. Come on. I only got one of them. Oh boy, there's a lot. Uh, I don't have any ethers. This is not good. Okay, keep on moving. I might as well take care of the mages. Or Red Nocturnes. I like to think of them as mages. Oh. Yep, a Blaze Shard. And he got all of his health back. Yeah, make sure enemies don't despawn like that. Okay. That was taken care of. And now for these lights. Okay, we brought a flower up. Uh, like that. Yeah, we know, it's right behind you. Okay, I was trying to do something fancy there. Up, uh, god damn it. Of course when I actually try to be fancy, I look stupid. So might as well just light them normally. Uh, okay. Oh. So we should protect the doorknob? Well, yeah, we are still in the bizarre room. Well, we've been constantly going in there from a lot of angles. So yeah, we gotta get back to the doorknob. Let's go. Let's open this door here. And we go back to the Queen's Castle again. Man, we've been coming here quite a bit. And now let's open up this chest. And we get a Thundaraji, which I don't care about. And okay, it looks like I got everything. At least I think I did. I'm not entirely sure because, as I've said before, this place is confusing to navigate. But hopefully that was it. So next time in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, we're gonna be hanging back through there and seeing what's up with the doorknob. See you next time.